A violent arrest caught on camera. The suspect repeatedly hit and kicked in the head by San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies. That suspect was wanted for an armed robbery and is known to law enforcement in the area. Tonight, an investigation is underway into whether that rough arrest was a case of excessive force. Rick Chambers live in the KTLA News Center with the video and reaction tonight. Rick. Yeah, Micah, this happened late Tuesday afternoon when San Bernardino County deputies spotted the suspect from a robbery just a couple of days prior. They say they stopped the man's car, but he refused to get out and was combative. Now the video that's been circulating shows only a part of that encounter, but it is stirring some controversy. What you're looking at is the arrest of an armed robbery suspect Tuesday in Hesperia. San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputies have just dragged 36-year-old Christian Alonzo from his car. He is a known gang member and a convicted felon. Damn, homie! Oh, to be honest with you, I did not see him resisting, and it just, it just went bad for the guy right there. This man, who wants to remain anonymous, is the person shooting the video as the deputies pin Alonzo to the ground. One of the officers is kneeing him on, 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 his, on his ribs, and then the other one's punching him with his fist closed on, on his head, and then that's when he, he turns around and he, like, he adjusts himself, and then he starts kneeing him in the face. The arrest video is making the rounds on social media and generating claims of excessive use of force by the deputies. What he received was unwarranted. Timothy Williams is a 29-year veteran of the LAPD and considered a use of force expert. He says the suspect doesn't appear to be fighting or struggling with the deputies in the video. See, if they don't fight, if they don't put up a resistance, you don't render street justice out there. Williams says that while the plainclothes deputy in the blue jeans delivers blow after blow to the suspect's head and face, the other deputies allow it to continue and don't object to it. Even the officers there, they should have interceded. Um, when, uh, when, the, when, the, when the force wasn't necessary, somebody should have interceded, uh, made sure that he was uh, uh, handcuffed, uh, sat up, and um, um, put in the police court. The San Bernardino County Sheriff issued a statement saying in part that he is aware of the use of force and it's being investigated, and that the deputy has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of that investigation. But there's no telling exactly when that might happen. In the News Center, I'm Rick Chambers. Micah and Sandra, I'll throw it back to you. Rick, thank you. Yeah.